Today we set the two outer posts and complete the beams at the house addition. Welcome back to the home edition. Today is a beautiful day, overcast, windy, feels cool. Great day to get some framing done. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start over here in this corner by the deck and I'm gonna level down and then I'll get some marks to help me install this post bracket which will support the six by six. I'm gonna use these redhead anchors to mount it to the concrete. Now that I got the bracket set, I'm gonna work on leveling this LVL so I can measure and cut and install the post. heavier than the concrete. So I got that post installed and can't believe it. When I checked it earlier, before I cut it, it was level. So I cut it exactly right. Actually, I cut it a little heavy. But now, once I cut it and set it, it's too short. But I'm going to move on to the other side and set that post now. So I got this post installed now. I'm gonna go back to the first one and try to shim that out. So I slipped that little piece of waste off of that post on top of this post and it shimmed it out perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in and plumb it out. Okay, so now I'm going to install the second LVL on this side, and once I finish that, I'll install the second one on the other side. So I've just realized the hard way that the problem is actually with my level. If I hold it upright, it reads one thing. If I flip it upside down, it reads something completely different. So they both were right. It's the levels that were wrong all along. So now that I got the beams up, I think I'm just going to do some small tasks, like checking the string line, just to make sure that it still looks straight, 
and maybe checking the square of the beams and just to make sure everything looks still looks in order and then the next time I'll worry about setting the two posts so after that I'll probably just clean up the job site and probably just pack it up so I hope you'll join me in the next clip where I do a little material runs and swap out the three-quarter plywood for the 5 eighths plywood that I need for the floor sheathing to match up I'll see you then